Okay, we actually have a new enemy here. <laughs> I wasn't talking because I didn't think we'd run into it so quickly. But like the other enemies, this one's not a huge deal. It's a slightly faster, and I believe he can stun you. Or bind you, or whatever. So it's a little annoying, but it's not a huge deal. I mean, I can't really think of any regular enemies in this game that are kind of a big problem, except for if you go into, like, uh, an area you're not supposed to... an area you're not supposed to be in yet, and to... You're shooting a little bit. Hey, why aren't you healing? Don't go floor on me. Don't go, don't, don't go full floor on me. You know, to uh, avoid... Defending people free chart, I'm gonna call that Paul Flora right now. <laughs> I don't know why I like hating on her so much. I mean, she's a really nice character and all, but that one part, man, that one part was just horrible. Anyways, I'll be right back. I keep forgetting what I want to do. Okay, okay. Here's the few things I did my. I saw, most of you noticed I did my friends. I did like in that friends list thing. I kind of just kept. I threw it in. I saw a few anomalies that I would like to talk about, or at least point out if you didn't notice them yourself. First off, Elwyn. Wrong, but... First off, Elwyn. Name Elwyn. First of all, she's a really beautiful character, and how the heck she keeps all that hair in her helmet is completely beyond me. But, Elwyn, her race is human? Question mark. Wait, let's, let's read it. Chief of Theater Bancor, Blight and Calm. She encourages people to do the right thing. Of course she does. Alfred the Bear of Abcor, Ball. I follow her by the name of El. When Alfred passed away, El will become Elwyn, and she constructed the warrior's guild many fairy creatures and dragons known personally. Okay, so it doesn't really explain anything. But it is very questionable what it means by the human. So if she, like. Because personally, I think she might be like an entity like a dragon where she's immortal, but she's a human form. Which in that case would be quite cool, but you know. Not much. I can't much of not much I can speculate on that about, unfortunately. And the other one I, I noticed and I thought was hilarious, or really strange, rather, was... or is it? Okay, Pinky, you can't hide from me forever. Pinky, where are you? There he is. Pinky, name Pinky. Race human, gender male, question mark. I'm sorry, but... To me, he's quite obviously a male, or he looks enough like a male to me. I don't see any breasts there, you know, that area where it should be. So, yeah. It's apparently a flamboyant knife thrower, but... I just think it's funny to actually put human question marks. And then I think the other one I wanted to look at was up here, actually. I think it was Charlie. He likes you warriors and strong people. Put together, he's in heaven. Okay, well. I ended up being funnier for some reason. But, yeah. I think actually I was thinking of when you talked to him and he's like, Oh, you have such strong legs, I need to keep the woman off you, and it's hilarious. Okay, so in this, in the in the frost dragon, or the ice dragon parts, head to the right here. Please tell me I didn't just go backwards. Oh, mother of god, I hate this one. I think I went backwards. You're, I was heading left, that's right. Mother yet. But in the ice dragon part of this cave, in the ice dragon part of the dungeon, there's only one item, and it's actually Tushinko Dumpling, so, you know, I'm not exactly... I'm not exactly uh, in need of those very badly, but... I'm gonna go ahead and grab it just to show you guys where it is, because it is very nice. It's a very nice item to have if you didn't, if you didn't uh, glitch the game like I did. So, yeah. I really did, like, I need to learn how to talk in general. You know, you stop using things like, anyways, or so, yeah, when I'm done talking. I have a problem. Can you just die? Please, you just die. I want to finish this dungeon. I want to finish the first floor of this dungeon tonight. So I didn't realize this until I was practicing again, but this dungeon, like, the entire final, End game stuff takes forever. There's so many random enemies. There are so many boss fights. There's just so much stuff to do, and it's just it takes forever. I, mean, I think it took me about four hours in total. That includes dying on the final end, the final uh, boss of the Secret Dungeon. Or is Touching Come Dumplings up this way? If you want to if you want to skip the dumpling, just head to your left there, and you'll head right to the boss battle. I'll counter these enemies, and I'll be right. Back. I'll be right, and I'm back. Well, just kick the chest here and you'll get the dumpling. Not a huge surprise. Yep, not much to say about it really. <laughs> I was trying to think of something, but oh, I do every enemy. I have to do it. I have to. See, I haven't even done two dragons, so it's already been like 30 minutes. I mean, this is, this is annoying a little bit. This is a little annoying. Alright, and I'm back. Probably not for long, so I'm gonna hit it. 
See, they put so many enemies in these tiny pots, these tiny hallways. I hate this game. <laughs> I am the water dragon, Kelvin of the Chasms and Churning Seas. You point your sword at me, but I'm far too fast for you. I know he didn't say far, but I don't know why or where I got it. But... Anyways, Kelvin the Water Dragon has a uh, at disproportionately huge HP pool compared to his brothers. He has 28,000 HP, and I'm not even kidding. I mean, it's a little weird, but you know, apparently he has it. At 28,000, he can freeze you. Like his brothers, you want to kind of stay off to the right and stop. Don't sit in front of him, otherwise he'll do crap like that to you, and he can freeze you if you're not careful. If you didn't see, and uh, he's very quick enemy, so it's kind of hard not to. Uh, it's very hard to kind of avoid his attacks, and obviously that hurt a little bit. So, can't please me in dealing duty. Nice the bombs. Anyways, I'm gonna wait for Kane to heal a little bit, then I'll have uh, Nyx use his multi blast. Okay, Nyx. Here's your ulti now! Get the hits on! Come on! Keep the combo going! No, oh, I just broke it. I broke it myself. Go to the up here. I don't know why, but I really like that. Uh, I like that ulti quite a lot. And on these bosses, you'll tend to notice you'll get a pretty good hit hit, hit rate on them, so they don't fall over or anything. And you have like everyone in your party just knocking at the door. It was actually that map. If you can see to the left there just a second ago, no one actually got hit by a uh, pretty. It's actually fairly devastating you still get hit by it. But basically, it engulfs the character in water and does damage continuously. And it does about 50 at a time quite rapidly, so if you think about it, that is not a whole lot of. Uh, I, can, I can only take about 32 hits of that. Which I guess is quite as... It's a good... that's a good number of a but Still, it is a little bit dangerous if, uh, you're not, if you're not ready for it. If you're not healed up, that can take you down very quickly. So just stay prepared. Bring a healer. You should have no problems tonight. Of course, he freezes me at the end of the battle. I am seriously wounded. I seriously doubt that. Oh no, Elwin. I think you lost 1 HP. I'm gonna beard cog, my duty is done. It is time for you to do your duty. Okay, that, that's cool. And of course the way out is right behind you. It, you think that'd be obvious, but my practice file, I actually... <laughs> I got lost in there. I was like, where do I go out? I don't know where to go, oh my gosh. But I wanted to talk just to you a sec, uh, brief minute about the names of these enemies, or the names of the dragons in particular, because I noticed... Uh, Well, I noticed Kelvin's name is Kelvin, which for those of you who might not be aware, there's a temperature scale, like uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius, that's called Kelvin, which is basically just uh, Celsius, but I think it's you give it 237.15, add 273.15 to it, or basically it makes zero, the absolute coldest it can possibly get, that's absolute zero, and then it goes up from there, I think, room temperatures, or Celsius zero is 233. I used to know that, but I, but I want this, okay, what I'm getting at here is that, okay, long way. What I'm getting at here is that I believe the dragons might be named after like mathematicians, scientists, or variables of sorts. I forget, but I looked at Parsec and I think it was something. I don't remember what exactly, but Seifid, the air dragon, which we're going to right now, I believe is a variable, the Seifid variable. I forgot what it was exactly. <laughs> I, know, I, I, I researched all this stuff before again, like, I forgot to write it down, unfortunately. Like, I, I forget what Parsec is. And what was who has lost Bane? Oh, Bane doesn't. Know. Bane is something also. Okay. Look it up for yourself. Look up the names. I'm pretty sure they all have some sort of mathematical science or physics related uh, connotation to them or theme, which is a nice little touch. I thought I'd look this up after if you were playing. I think it's Sora. Sorry if I got my card to mix up the name. Pointed out that a lot of the names in this game actually have might have a uh, French. It was French, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it was French. If, I, if that's wrong, I'll put an annotation up. But a lot of them have uh, French annotate, like French meaning to them. Probably the one just about everyone and their mother told me was that the Rose Cachon Brigade is Pink Pit and Pink me, <laughs> Pink Pig in French. And then the Normaton was like Black Busting or something. I think it was that. 
but it's but like they're all French names. I believe this new the this new region was like nineteen. But a lot of the like little regions around the map, like I think this this new friend, this this new, this this new. One of these is this new. If I will find you, this new. Am I lying to myself? I'm not meant to do. I said, whatever. There's something. Something somewhere was named the Snoof, and it was that means 19, or it means some sort of number in French. So I haven't looked into it as much as I wanted to, but I think he's on something. I think there might be some sort of a meeting of madness here. That's that's the saying, right? It's like method of man, method of madness. So, I encourage you all to look it up uh, if you think you know, if you think you found some sort of a pattern to it, let me know. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Might, not, might just be a complete coincidence, who knows. But, yeah. But, yeah. Anyways, in this uh, air portion of the dungeon, there is one weapon you can get that is actually the best axe weapon in the game. In order to get it from the entryway, you head all the way to the left. Just keep running, you'll actually find it. Unfortunately, though, you need to go back to the first store in order to go to the dragon, so it's a little bit of a trek to do it. But, it's actually considerably shorter than the other one, so I'm okay with it. Especially when they give you these little battles that have two enemies in it, so... But there's also a part to this dungeon, or to this, uh... Part of the cavern. In the next, the second, you see, we saw one door back there. If you head to the next door, just don't do it. Just store it right down there. It's completely pointless. It's like this little, it's a little hallway that runs parallel. It gives you a few more battles if you want to level. Otherwise, there's nothing in there, so don't waste your time unless you want to train. It waste up your back. Look, here we got Gold Dragon Castle. I believe you were getting one of those though, so not a huge, not the best find in the world, but whatever. Was that that? They were parallel or something? Maybe that was the first store. I don't remember. I might have been the first store actually. It might be stupid. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, I think that's the last enemy in this whole way. If there's more, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. I hate this enemy. Okay, I'm back again. I'm not gonna say that was the last enemy, because it probably was. Go figure. Anyways, click here and you'll get the Ancient Axe, which, like I said, is the best axe of what I... I'm like 99% sure, of course, I might have missed something. But I'm pretty sure that's the best axe weapon in the game. It gives us a whopping... Uh, you know, 50 more tech powers, I'm gonna go ahead and use it, but I'm changing my combo because this one is horrendous. The reason why I'm doing this combo in particular is because <laughs> most of the upper axe skills are really slow and it drives me insane. And I'd like to show off all the weapons you find here in the final dungeon. I believe you find one of each. I uh, know you find the... I believe the long... the two in this one I have now is the best, if I'm not mistaken. It might not be. But the strong, you find the strongest lance, longsword, and axe here for sure. The long sword and lance come later, or this one handed sword come later. Next time we get to battle, I'll go ahead and show off the axe. It is really nice, I should say. As you might expect. You see, like, that's a pretty tight axe, I'm not gonna lie. And then you will also be finding the best armor in the game here, or what I believe to be the best armor in the game here in a little bit. But of course, it has special pride, and I, God knows I love these little immobilizing effects my weapons do that. One of the reasons why I like using that Leviathan Lance, like I use it for half the Let's Play, was because the freeze on it made the battle so much easier, because you didn't have to move, they didn't move, you couldn't knock them over, you could just beat the guitar out of them and they didn't care. But this axe actually goes very well with the last armor we'll be finding here before long. Oh, it's, it's a little longer than I thought it was. I, for, for some reason I thought this was on this level, that's not on this level. But you know, there's not enough enemies in this game, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully there's no more enemies, but there probably are. That would be sad. Okay, and I'm back, and I think that was the last enemy in this hallway. I'm probably wrong. I shouldn't have said that. Why did I say that? Okay, I'm so wrong. There's another There has to be another enemy in here. Okay, there we go. Yeah. These hallways are so long. It makes me sad. And I'm still cursed from like two battles ago yet again. Can't do your boss, do your duty, you know. I know you can't do it first. I have holy water for that, but you know, I'm too stingy these items. And I'm back. I don't know how much longer I'll be here. So there's no, there's literally no way to keep steady commentary in this. I'm sorry, but there's no way. I guess I could talk through it, but no. 
That makes too much sense.